Scott from Fishing World here on board Arvor's 705 Sportsfish. Uh, the 705 fits nicely between the 805 and the newly released 625 Sportsfish. This is the next generation of Sportsfish boats for Arvor and, and as they say it's unashamedly built for fishing. Uh, and that's exactly what we've been doing today. We're here on board here in Sydney Harbour and we've been chasing up some of the local pelagics we were fishing out around the heads before and it's a, it makes a great fishing boat. This one definitely has a lot more fishing features and has some of the, some of the essential um, requirements that you need for fishing, like a large cockpit. Uh, there's plenty of room. You know, there are two of us fishing today, but you can certainly have more than two, two on board. There's also area to fish up the front. If you wanted a bit more, a bit more clearance, you could, you could you know, chase some fish up the front. Arvor 705 Sportsfish, as the name suggests, is, is a dedicated fishing boat and has lots of features that are, that are suitable for fishing. Plenty of rod holders in, in the gunnels. You've also got some, um, for shorter rods, you've got some underneath the gunnels as well. Uh, rocket launches up top here, you can, you can put spare rods. Uh, the main centre centerpiece here is the bait station, so you've got a nice live well here, which we've used today. Uh, that's, that's a generous size live well. You've got a cutting board over here, you've got some drink holders here that you can either put drinks into or you can uh, use to put you know, lures or pliers or scissors like we've done here today. Uh, underneath, the, underneath the bait station you've got a fold down seat, it's a really, really solid seat this one. I've noticed that in other boats before that everything is built really tough. You don't have the flimsy rattly fold down seats that you get in some other boats. That's a, that's a solid, uh, solid seat. There's also one over here as well. Another, another big feature for, for the 705 Sportsfish are these tow rails. You've got a generous height gunnel, so, you, so if you're out in rougher water you're not going to feel like you're going to topple over. So for some people that's a, that's a really, really big bonus. But on top of that, you've actually got somewhere to put your feet as well. So, so if you are fishing and you are feeling a little bit unstable, it's, it's a nice, nice, safe place to, to fish. It is, it is a great boat for not only here in the harbour, but for heading offshore if you want to do some game fishing. Great all around Australia as well, whether you're based in Tassie, South Australia, Western Australia, even up in Queensland, it'd be a great boat to head out to some of the islands and explore out there and stay overnight and that sort of thing. Uh, it's, a ver it's a versatile boat. It's, it, it's you know, not only in its, in its um, you know, in its, in its use for different species and different styles of fishing, but also you could, you could get the family on board and they've got the shelter in the enclosed cabin. This, this boat actually takes seven people as well, so, so it would make a good family boat or if you and a few mates wanted to head out, head out fishing. Moving forward, we're inside the uh, the cabin. This is a fully enclosed cabin, uh, but it still has plenty of space to walk around on either side. So that's the great thing about about this. It's quite a quite a roomy cabin for its for its size and for a boat of this size as well. There's plenty of space in here, and you don't feel like you're too cramped. Uh, there's also a little fridge. There's some storage, a little sink, uh, two seats with um, with a bolster seat as well, so you can lean against it. There's another fold-up seat there. Um, yeah, you can you can fully enclose yourself if you want. Uh, it, yeah, if the weather's bad, or if you're heading offshore in winter, and you can get there, and you know, in, you know, still feeling nice and dry and warm, or like today when you're in a nice sunny day, or if you live in other parts of Australia that, that are much hotter and you really want that ventilation, you can open these doors, 
open the back door, open the sunroof, and, and really get some air in here. Um, this is also a great feature, I, I think, as a, as a fishing feature, because you don't feel too far removed from the action out, out the back. Today, when we were fishing, I was driving. Um, Pat, on the, on, who's filming at the moment, was fishing out the back there, and I was able to sort of stick my head out, or even just walk out through this door and get in, you know, grab a rod and get in on the action as well. So, so unlike some enclosed cabins, that's sort of where you feel removed from the from the action. This isn't one of those. It's a, it's a um, you can you can tell it is just another feature of this fishing friendly boat. Uh, also, Ford uh, here you've got a you've got a little um, cabin. There's a little door there as well, and there's a sea toilet in there and some cushions. Uh, it's only small. It's not big enough to sleep in, but certainly a handy feature for toilets if you have the family on board and you need somebody to go or if you're offshore. Uh, it's also a great space to um, to put some extra gear. The dash of the 705 Sportsfish has uh, plenty of standard uh, features that you'd expect in a fishing boat like this. There's a Simrad NSS Evo 3 9 inch sounder, uh, Fusion Stereo, a couple of gauges, more gauges operating um, all the features around the around the boat, a couple of drink holders up the front there. Uh, it's also got an active trim, uh, which is part of the uh, part of the Mercury package on this boat. Uh, Mercury and Arvor uh, under the same um, same parent company, and that, that offers several advantages. Um, price, um, but, it, but more than anything, it offers a well-matched engine as well. And this 225 horsepower four-stroke Mercury on the back is a perfect match for this boat. That's the maximum horsepower. I think it goes up from 150 to 225, but we've found today that the 225 does well, well over 30 knots, between 30, 35 knots, which is more than enough. And, and inside this enclosed cabin, it feels, feels very comfortable at that speed. Most Arvor boats are, are a beamy boat, and this is no exception. So it's a nice stable boat at rest. It's a great fishing boat for that reason. You can be offshore or even in the harbour here with some of the boat chopping and um, be confident that you're not gonna, um, not gonna rock around too much. It also makes a good family boat for that same reason. So that's Arvor 705 Sportsfish. For more information, go to arvor.com.au.